OpenAI's goal is to build safe, artificial general intelligence. We know that AI can be extremely beneficial to humanity, and it's going to require fundamental advances to see what it's really capable of. Dota is a great testbed for artificial intelligence. It's a very complicated game with a large competitive scene. And what this means is that you have to develop new techniques. You have to push forward the founder of what's possible in order to get anywhere. For this project, we're building a Dota player. We're starting with a bot capable of beating top professional players at Dota 1v1. The rules of Dota are so complicated that if you just think really hard about how the game works and try to write those rules down, you're not even going to be able to reach the performance of a reasonable player. So our bot is trained entirely through self-play. It starts out completely random with no knowledge of the world and simply plays against a copy of itself, which means it always has an evenly matched opponent. And it climbs this ladder of skill level until it's able to reach the performance of the best professional players in the world. The International is Dota's world championships. 20,000 fans come from around the world to watch professionals compete for a $24 million prize pool. Over the course of the International, we tested our bot against a number of professional players. It turns out that our AI has learned really robust skills in the game that is actually really competitive with these pros. Many of the pros wanted to keep playing the bot and started talking about using it as part of their training routine. My first impressions is it's pretty easy to get tilted from losing to like a bot. And I think the problem relies in people don't usually expect such a strong bot. Now he has a double wave and I can't trade hits with him. And he's gonna be level three before me with full HP. I think, I don't know, watching the replay, honestly, I, I just learned something. So it's pretty helpful. Like I felt like I'm one of the strongest SFs and knowing that this move, like if I can foresee that if I make this move, this will happen to my wave and this is what's gonna happen. It's just pretty nice to experience it. Like someone could tell me this could happen, but I think experiencing it is just another level of knowledge. In addition to the pros, we thought it was pretty cool that a number of amateur players enjoyed playing the bot as well. Uh, it does kind of, I think that it would open up out of the box thinking because there's many ways to win a game of Dota specifically. Okay, he's ignoring the fairy fires. The bot is good. The bot is better than I could have ever imagined. That, we can get one hit from the donkey. Hello. <laughs> he took the bait. Okay. So, your bot does not attack random things on the ground. Does not attack random things on the ground. It predicts where you go in the darkness. Yeah, that, I did, can I play again? You're very welcome Okay, to. we're gonna go one more. This event was us introducing our Dota project to the world. The next step is to try to build a team of five AIs and see if we can get it to reach the level of the top human professionals. Beyond that, we want to start mixing together AIs and human players on a single team and try to reach levels of performance that neither of them can reach on their own. We're super excited to see where that goes and hope that you'll stay tuned.